Alright, Iron Baron, we could do this the easy way, or we could do this the hard way. <sighs> I can't decide. I guess we'll just have to do this the hard way, since I'm evil and such. Okay. <sighs> Is that how we got some of the first Benjutsu Master? No, that was just... No, but I don't see my full power. <laughs> it seems you have lost. <laughs> no, Iron Baron. You see, Iron Baron? I have realized that the only way to defeat... To, to truly defeat an enemy is by making them your friend. Oh, really? So what are you saying? I'm saying is that I can help you get, get the dragon armor and help protect you from the Oni. Well, I guess that's the deal. <sighs> I'm Baron. <sighs> Cole, what was that for? What well, I was just trying to save you. <sighs> that's alright. I see you now made me a changed man. Right. Is that violence we need? use our skills and help each other well okay now here let me lead you to the dragon armor dragon hunters stay here and keep garo the ninja make sure they make sure there isn't anything too suspicious going on <sighs> well i guess we just have to stay here with our enemies See, I told you guys shouldn't have, you should have gone. You should have gone without me. Well, Master just wanted to save you, and I think that we should obviously save you too, because a ninja now leaves a friend behind. So, um, are we your guests? Well, usually, you're pr we would accept you as our prisoners. But, hey, I think we could accept you as our friends, like guests. Like, I don't think we should, like, call you prisoners, but I think we should just call you guests. Okay, so you're, we're, our pris we're your prisoners. Alright, I see that. So what do you dragon hunters usually do if you're prisoners? Do you like, eat them? Or like, sacrifice them to like, like, do, like, say, like, sacrifice them to the devil? Like, cut their limbs off and eat them? Like, uh, like, like, what do you actually do? Well, you see, me and my friend and us dragon hunters usually love to tell each other stories. Well, you see, these stories we like to tell each other are scary stories. Or historical stories. Isn't that right, Don Don? You yeah, gotta try. Right. I love this. Well, how about I could tell you a very interesting story. No, no, Cole, you're basically boring. Alright, how about I can tell you a story? Really? I wanna know the story. Well, let me just start from the beginning. But first, we need some firewood because we can't have a have a story of a campfire story without some some fire. Oh, that sounds interesting. I'll go grab grab some tr find some trees and chop them down. I'll create the fire. <coughs> got some firewood. Right, the fire ninja. Now let's set the fire. All right, guys. <coughs> Ah, man, we're burning so much trees. I wonder if Veridi, the goddess of nature, like Veridi, is probably looking down at us and just saying, Yep, humans are monsters. Alright, now we got a campfire down. Now let me tell you the campfire story. Oh, and Jay, what are you saying? Oh, I was just telling you about a character from this game called, like, Kid Icarus Uprising. Yeah, no, I love that game. Alright, now I just not, not get sidetracked. Let me tell you about the story. This story is a story about Taco Bell. Once upon a time, there was a little bell named Taco Bell. He was usually bullied at school for being a Taco Bell. Yeah, you're not good enough, Taco Bell. Yeah, you should just go back to work at Taco Bell, idiot. But little did they know is that Taco Bell can actually give people diarrhea. Oh, oh God, my stomach. Oh, I think I'm gonna have diarrhea. Uh, God, he's the bathroom. Eh. Yeah, I think I'm having diarrhea too. Uh, God, he's the bathroom quick. Eh. And nobody messed with Taco Bell anymore. So, what you guys think? 
that was awesome. Yeah, no, that was the best story ever. Yes, that was even better than the anime I'm watching. But Taco Bell never gives people diarrhea. Yeah, tell us more of your stories, Ninja. Well, I heard had enough a bunch of stories because I'm a ninja. Move aside, Zane. Let me tell you, Dragon Hunt is about a real story. A story about a fictional character rather than some stupid anime. Let me tell you about the story of Kid Icarus. So, it took place in a world where God, where based on Greek mythology. And basically, I'm gonna tell you the entire story of the games and like all three games that were made. All right, Skylar. You see that giant thing that's basically just standing there doing nothing? Yep, I basically can. Well, Skylar, I now need you to use your powers to be able to control that um the Oni Titan. Yep, and probably just kill a bunch of people in the process. Ah, <sighs> Dareth. Alright Skylar, what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted is that you sh should obviously control the only titan and have it go on guard on tower and just what? Oh, yeet! Just throw guard on out. Or probably just um, I don't know what else. Just, just um, just don't die. Alright. Alright. Crap. Well, I guess I'll just have to do the only thing that's possible in the plot. <laughs> what? <sighs> Wait, the mask. Does it still work? No! The mask! It's destroyed! Alright, kill her, you idiot! <laughs> oh man, how I want to do this for a long time. Eh, 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 what are you doing? Eh, eh, yeet! Oh, I think I'm actually doing it. Oh, oh, crud, crud, it's coming towards us. <laughs> Oh, it's actually good. Uh, uh. Huh. Seems like Skylar is stronger than I thought. I guess I'll just have to do it the extreme way. Well, um, I'm out of here. Yeet! Right now, uh, probably not gonna care about her anyways. Got on a building safely. Wait, what? Hmm? Ah! Uh, oh crap! <laughs> Skylar, quit hitting the building. It's not me. Well, I'm trying not to, but something also keeps hitting me. The only Titan. Seems that Garnador is becoming powerful than me. Well, I guess I'll just show him who needs to respect. Uh, oh crap. Uh, oh fuck! No! Huh. I wonder if I now get money for a life insurance. Well, uh, anyway. No! I'm Skylar, you trying hard enough? I'm trying as hard as I can. Uh, I will destroy you and every building if I have to. <clears throat> Skylar, are you okay? I don't think so. I can't move anything. Guess I'm now poisoned, I guess. But are you okay? Well, I'm still talking, so yes, I am okay. Wait, how are you still talking? If you're basically, like, paralyzed, I guess. Well, I guess... I don't know, actually. Well, explanation is plot convenience, I guess. Well, obviously, I have to get out of here. We obviously need to stop listening to and buy voice mess. Like voices, but we have bigger problems to worry about. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Find out in the next episode of Doritos of Fun. Nice. Yeet!